Hey everyone, Kendall here, your traveling therapist. And for this expert affirmation, I am coming to you from my parents' house in Texas. I've been stateside since mid-June. Um, and I just returned this week from a 10 day trip to Italy. So <laughs> I am kind of all over the place, right? But I wanted to make sure to get this affirmation out because it really, really, really speaks to a conversation that I had with my supervisor today. Um, I hope that everyone is well. I know it's summertime. We're probably re-engaging with our families, traveling the world, or just sitting still. Anything that you're doing is great, as long as you're taking time for yourself uh, to be mindful of how you're feeling, engaging with yourself holistically, and giving yourself what you need, taking care of your needs. So we're going to get into it. As always, I'm encouraging you to assume a posture of mindfulness, of openness, of curiosity, compassionate curiosity. Here we go. The blueprint for my future is rooted in my visualized hopes and dreams. Today is an optimal day to begin planting the seeds for my success. I give myself permission to mindfully engage with and nurture the full spectrum of feelings present during this transformative process. You know, I always say that I love this one because I like them all. I was having a conversation with my supervisor at lunch today and she knows me pretty well. And just some of the things that she was saying as far as some desires that I have, goals that I have, she was literally verbalizing the things that had been in my mind and in my spirit. And I was able to close my eyes and visualize as I heard her speak these things out into the universe. And literally the blueprint for my future is in my visualized hopes and dreams. If one of the ways to help you work through challenges that you're facing is to be able to get mindful, get still, and to visualize what success could look like. Visualize each step that you might possibly take through this process, right? It's when you can kind of see it in action, it's a little bit easier to do that in reality, right? To take steps toward the thing that you are working for. And I encourage everyone, whatever those goals are that you're working on this quarter, this month, this week, just take a moment to sit back and do some mindful visualization about what this process looks like. You know, if it's um, getting a license, you know, close your eyes, see yourself getting into the car, driving to the place, listening to the music, joyful, um, taking that test, stepping into the car, uh, putting your hands on the wheel, looking around, getting mindful, getting still, being present, uh, driving through the city, parallel parking correctly, and just engaging with the instructor in a calm and cordial uh, manner as you ace your test. Um, and then when you can do that, it kind of eases some of that internal tension that you might be experiencing, maybe not totally, but we're trying to get you in the habit of thinking about the thing as if it were coming to pass, right? Um, shifting your thinking toward the possibility as opposed to the obstacle. Um, the thing that you focus on the most is what's going to amplify. So I want you to focus on the vision, the goal, um, moving toward the thing that you're seeking instead of what's going to stop you from getting there. Because we tend to get in our own way. I can attest to that personally. <laughs> Give yourself permission to mindfully engage with and nurture the full spectrum of feelings that are present as you go through this process. The feelings are going to come in waves. I don't label them as good or bad, they just are. And it's to, it's up to you to be accepting of them, acknowledge them, identify what they are. And you know, what am I feeling? What is this feeling trying to lead me to? How, what is it trying to illuminate in my life? Is there some healing that I need to do in this area? Um, are there people that I can collaborate? How does this particular emotion that I'm experiencing, how can I utilize it to help keep me making progress and moving forward. Uh, they're all teachers, they're guideposts. They are all welcome and they are all useful. Even the ones that don't feel good in the moment, they can still be a benefit to you and your process. So I 
encourage you to be welcome to all of them because they all matter. All feelings matter. So I'm going to read this affirmation one last time before I go for this week. The blueprint for my future is rooted in my visualized hopes and dreams. Today is an optimal day to begin planting the seeds for my success. I give myself permission to mindfully engage with and nurture the full spectrum of feelings present during this transformative process. What is your mindfully, what does your mindful engagement with your feelings look like? I want you to identify that and how are you going to identify those hopes and dreams? Are you going to use a vision board? Are you going to set some goals? Are you going to create a mind map? Uh, identify something that's going to help pull out those hopes and those dreams so that you can begin to set some goals around them and visualize them. You're literally laying the foundation. You're laying the blueprint. You are, you know, creating the tool that's going to help you to be able to move forward. It is a process. It doesn't happen overnight. And you have everything that you need. You just have to trust yourself. And I swear, as I'm talking to y'all, I'm talking to myself too. I can hear my supervisor in my head from today. Girl, just do it. You got it. <laughs> so, as always, I am grateful for your engagement, for your participation, for you joining this community. And I'm going to continue to ask that you share what we're doing in your communities of influence. Follow us if you haven't already. Hopefully the things that you're gleaning from the Black Expat experience via the interviews, the affirmations, the different things that I share are um, beneficial to you. I will have more coming. Uh, again, July is Minority Mental Health Awareness Month. Um, I do have a live <clears throat> that I'm hosting on Saturday. The time is going to change from 11 a.m. to 12.30 or 1. I escaped my mind that I had another podcast interview to conduct, and I'm going to you know, hold myself to that uh, pre-scheduled interview because i got to give you all the good things, right? So I will be sending an update today that the time tomorrow is changing to 12.45 as opposed to 11 a.m. I hope that you can attend, uh, chime in. Hopefully, I'm going to offer you some things that you can, you know, implement in your life that are practical to help you to pay attention and to take action. So, um, remember that we thrive abundantly everywhere as a person of the global majority. And until next week, we'll talk soon. Bye.